This is Sip and Discuss. I am Michelle Mosley. I said I love who cut. Kalita Hunter. She if has you do, come inside. joined oh, us like on it. our live. She is our other co-host. It's three of us. Oh my God. And Richie Blue is coming over here now. He's working on our March Madness. My sister's helping me put the camera back up <laughs> to the right. Tonight we have a special guest with us. We have Audrey. Hey. Audrey, what's your Instagram? Uh, ooh, Professor Utonium. Professor Utonium. She is a photographer and a new mom. Congratulations. She has a little boy. How many months is he? He is four months now. Four months. Dope, 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 dope. Are you moving over to Michelle? Or what's time am I sitting on? You're going to have to sit. I don't know how we're going to do this. But. All right, so ours, you can't move nowhere. So she's the. the <laughs> Vocal. Yeah. <laughs> she's our special guest. So how do you like being a mom? Um, it's actually, it's, uh, interesting. Like, at first, I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of work, but then, like, you have this say? human who, like, you're extremely attached to, you know, like. Is this recording? Harder. Say what? It doesn't get any harder? It doesn't get easier to get harder. Oh, yeah, oh wow, thanks. <laughs> no, like, that's the only <laughs> That's the only downside is like you're always constantly worried about the kid and I can't imagine worrying any more than I am already, but apparently you worry more, which is crazy. But yeah. That's Richie. <laughs> <laughs> now our live is going to be available on our YouTube page, which is Sip and Discuss. So you'll actually be able to view the three of us. That's right. You won't be able to see Kylie. You'll only be able to see her through live. And that's only because of this stupid coronavirus. I know, right? Damn. Mm -hmm. If we did have the stupid coronavirus, Kylie would be here with us. If we didn't have the stupid coronavirus, we actually would be at Drift tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> yeah. From 9 to 10 p.m. Getting our drink on. But we had to cancel that because no more than 10 people are allowed. Yeah, yeah we're breaking a close proximity. We are, we're hella close. Oh <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be like six. We're supposed to be six feet apart from each other. Okay, well. Hopefully none of us has okay. it. <laughs> Hopefully none of us has it. What'd you say, Kalina? I'm not practicing social distancing, I don't like it. <laughs> Girl. Yo, thank God none of my neighbors is white, cause they probably would. So they would call, and they <laughs> they would be like, "My neighbor next door is not practicing." They throw out a party over there. Y'all, you should have heard the lady at Acme. Like when you go to check out at Acme, they have little blocks on the floor, like little blocks where you're supposed to stand apart from each other. And this one lady. She just couldn't get it in her head that she wasn't supposed to even put her stuff on the <laughs> conveyor belt yet. And like, like, excuse me. And the, <laughs> and the cashier was like, you just can't wait, can you? Like, I know you're in here all the time, but can you please just step back? I'm like, damn, this is this what Did she understand English? Like, was there English? But I'm like, English? is this what the world has come to? Like... We really have to just like we everybody and it, it's it makes the line so much longer. I can't put my stuff on the conveyor belt until you are all the way up there ready to pay and your and your last item is coming off the conveyor belt. Oh, yeah. um, she said that y'all have strips on the floor. Yes, <laughs> you have strips on your acne floor too. <laughs> We're all just going to the store now too. Even Wawa, Wawa has one on the floor too. Yo, like, the store is a new hangout place. Like, if you want to just get out the house, you go grocery shopping right now. That's your only option right now. I just don't like, I can't get my coffee right. Because they just be randomizing the coffee. Like, the first thing, y'all ain't got no cinnamon. And y'all just pouring the sugar in there. What, what you say, Kalina? Because now, why would I want to make your coffee free? Y'all don't know how I like my coffee. Right, exactly. That's exactly. right. <laughs> Wow, wow, 
making their coffee. Now I'm like, why do I want to be past people up there? I need you to twist the lemon and drop it to the side. And not too much creamer because the creamer will be, oh, now you got to start all over. You've done it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I seen somebody like that in there one time. And I was like, I'm going somewhere else. I'm, I'm not going to this one. I'm like, this is going to be all day. <laughs> Y'all not mixing my creamer and my coffee right. You got to be, I know what it looks like, how it's supposed to look. I can't take that out. Right, right. Like, it's, not, it's, too, it's too dark. It's too dark. You got to add some more creamer in there and lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> Yo, it is getting outrageous out here with the coffee with everything so tonight's topic is we're talking about the beauty industry being natural do men really want you all natural do they really prefer that or do they just don't care and the reason okay, we're talking about this oh i know you can <laughs> mr <laughs> mr voluptuous booty. <laughs> booty lover he is such a booty lover make sure you check out his other page it's called... Uh, Yo, did you see what I did last the week? No, I don't watch that page. No, it wasn't even on that page. It was on my regular page. I was like, His oh. page is called Fantasy Realized. It's for adults only, mature audience only. Yes. So, and the reason I came up with this topic, we came up with this topic, is because everything's closed. The nail salon, the hair salon, beauty supply store... Spas are closed. No getting waxed down there, ladies. No, uh, I, I, I haven't been waxed since August, though. So. <laughs> My shit been overdue. But no, no waxing, no full body massages. And it also helped me pose the question, does your spouse see you totally natural? Because some people just these past couple weeks. They better. No. <laughs> some some women have never. Where? No, there are some. There are though. women who wake up early. Literally. Will get up early, fix their face, like shave whatever they have no, to shave. No. They have an alarm on their phone and everything. Yes, there are women out there. You're a man, see, you don't understand that. So well, no, I, I, I that asked part. that question as well. Does your mate see you natural? I know my girl. Well, so, my dad was. And then we know. also want to talk about the census. And we also want to talk about March Madness. Or B Madness, son. Or B Madness. We're we already got the first round, part of the first round ready to go tonight. So, get those voting singers ready. Bloop, bloop, bloop. He's excited because there is no NBA Madness. So he's just like. College Madness. College, college Madness. Oh, March Madness. Whatever. It's yeah, so we're going to start with our <laughs> special guest. We're going to ask her the question first Does your mate, spouse, significant other, if you have one, if you don't have one, do they get to see you completely natural? For me, yeah, because I feel like I need to be able to relax. And I can't relax if I'm always focused on doing my face, doing my nails. Facts. Um, I feel like the only thing they wouldn't see is like me with like hair places. Like, nah, I have to shave. That's shaving would be something that would happen. Are you serious? Yes. Like, can you? No, 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 no. I, I get it, but like, sit, you're sitting there cuddling, and then he feels your prickly le- like. No. <laughs> no. But, the only reason I say are you serious because you just seem like you were so open with. Him having to be, you have to be comfortable for him to see you like see, but yeah, totally natural. I would assume that, but I'm not comfortable. The hair, with, like he's touching like my hairy legs, like I can't. That doesn't make me comfortable. <laughs> okay, so I think I I might have known my spouse too long. But how about you? You're a man, but still, does your significant other get to see you? Totally natural. Well, I think I'm natural anyway, so like there is no. Yeah, I, I mean, so. without your hair sh- trimmed and line nicely, up. and your lineup and your your bald head nice and shiny. And I, yeah, yeah, you would, you would have to because like times like this when you are in close quarters, can't go nowhere. Supposedly, you know, you need to be able to wake up and just like like Rachel said, just Argy said, excuse me, just relax. 
and just let, you know, not let go, but just be like, all right, look, I'm going to chill out a little bit and I'm just going to be free. And I need my significant other to better look at me and still be like, yes, let's get it in. Or yes, come hug me. Yes, I want to still make out with you. Or yes, I like just looking at you as a whole. And if you can't do that on a natural level, then there's something that there's always going to be looking for something. You're always going to be wanting, like maybe the same thing, you know, maybe the same where I need to be. So therefore, yes, they have to see you in my, they would have to see me in my natural state. You always, okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who needs to be shaved. Like, uh, oh, okay. Girl, that be Kia. That be Kia, girl. She, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but somebody else has my back. <laughs> oh yeah, she agrees on shaving is a must. Okay, Kalia, what was you about to say? If a man is ugly, it's just ugly. It ain't nothing to do. It don't matter if his hair is cut or not. I mean, hair. <laughs> hair, 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 hair you can have somebody because I mean, I guys look ten times better. But then, what happens if you like this? Like, this is when you've been dating me, if you go extra here, and go extra me, Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, especially- I'm glad you called it, because some of it was just like, in and out. You're, you were saying, she was saying that you can't be ugly. You can be. No, if a man is ugly. He's ugly. That's yeah. it. Okay, but what about right, but if he they, misses his, like, what if you see him with a full head of hair because he's been going to that doctor that does the surgery or puts the, the chemicals in his hair, but now everything is shut down so he can't get the chemicals and his hair slowly starts sliding back. <laughs> and by next week, his hairline is all the way back here and he does not look the a nigga with a hairline all the way back here looks very different from a nigga with a hairline that starts up here and is all. <laughs> but see, that's but see, that's the thing though. <laughs> I, I look at it this way: so these niggas got implants, <laughs> and they gotta like, go like, get like, a like, They gotta go get a sewing just like I gotta go get a sewing. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Man weave. Yes, man weave. So for all y'all niggas that think, yes, I didn't, I didn't say that word. Negroes, all y'all Negroes who think that we don't be knowing, we be knowing that y'all be getting hair weave too. Listen, it's horrible. Call it in your face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Now see, I like I know for me when I first I remember when I first noticed my hair starting to go away, and I had the three sixty waves going on. I was like, yeah, yeah, and the next you know my three sixty turned into like two seventy, and I was like, hold up, like what the like it's, it's happening? Like I couldn't believe it. I was like, so then I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna let it grow a little a little thicker, you know, what I mean? put more hair in there, to, you know, fill it out, and it still wasn't working. So eventually, when that two seventy started fading a little more, and that 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 spot that was gone started getting a little bit more shallow, I was like, it's "Time to go! Time to go! Time to go! No implants for you? No, I mean, <laughs> no! Like, are you serious? Like, what, what I look like going? Like, hey, hey, hold on! I gotta make sure I get my appointment so I can get these joints up in here. Like, nah. Like, once once that went away, that was it. I knew it was coming. My dad was bald. Like, since I can remember. My little brother went, was going bald. I was I was thankful though. I was blessed because he, he, my younger brother, was going bald way before I was, and I was like, oh man, like yeah, it's it's coming. It just I'm gonna just max out until then. And when it went away, and see that's why I put on there <laughs> spouse, and I didn't put like when I first asked the question in the beginning of the week. 
did you see your spouse? Because men, we it's men out here that's 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 faking. That's faking the funk. They got fake beards now. And that's why dudes always be wearing that hat too. Like yes. A guy that always wearing a hat like can't that's your wig, nigga. Yeah, pretty much. That's your wig. Yeah. Y'all know how y'all be <laughs> trying to clown girls so she always got a wig on. You always got a hat on. Dang. It's true though. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> like no, no, like come on, man. Let me get it in there, man. Like come on, man. Don't do me like that. <laughs> yeah, they'll tip. They'll tip. Just so. Oh, Okay, so we can't go too hard on the guy. Cause then, you know, next thing you know, he wants that coming hard on us, like. No, nah, but yeah, that, that's true though. But yeah, I'm just sitting there like, you know what? No, I'm getting out of there. I'm not. I'm just letting it all go. See a lot of white guys like they hold on to that thing forever. <laughs> and some guys nasty reason. things in the back of their heads from wearing cats too much. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. <laughs> the Negro naps. Oh. <laughs> well, <sighs> my uh, I think my I think my boyfriend starting his hair start his head around starting to go back. Yeah, time to. <laughs> Time to shave it off. I mean, I mean this is also like you start to think about it, you start seeing people like yeah, some people just don't look right with a bald head. You know, and I guess that's so I think you look good with whatever you embrace and you figure out a way to make it your own. Yes. I agree. Yeah, yeah I I'm gonna say if you could yeah. But don't come in, don't come see me if you got a full ballsy in two weeks. I see you later and you got the hair with the curly. <laughs> but see, guys can say that with girls too because four weeks ago I had an afro and this week I got curly, wavy type hair. So guys can say that too. But I've been in this, uh, I've been with the same person. Off and on for going on almost like close to six years now. So I don't shave when I don't want to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and he has personally helped me take out my weave. Oh, that's so cool. he. I. That's love right there, girl. That's love. <laughs> I don't think that I could ever be in a relationship because I've been in those relationships where I have not totally been natural like around that person like I always either had my hair done makeup on like some type of makeup a weave my nails was done like my eyebrows like I always was on one like always not always made up made up but like not bare face yeah like always somewhat put together and now that I've been in a relationship where I can wear my natural hair. I wake up in the morning with no makeup on. I get kissed before I brush my teeth. Like, now that I know what that freedom feels like, I will not ever go back to a relationship where the person doesn't see me natural. Right, I think that's a, I think that's a must. Like, 
I be sometimes thinking like, no, I want, I want to see it all. Just take everything <laughs> off. Just stand there so I can just, all right, embrace you. Like, yes, that's who you are, and I still love it. And then we just go on from there. You know what I mean? So then, you know, if I love you at that, say, if what y'all may say is y'all lowest point, then we have nowhere else to go but up. You know, and so you have to be able to accept that person at that at that level. And if you can't, if you're not willing to accept that person at that level, then chances are y'all need to go find another partner. So, like, what would happen, though? Like, say if you're, like, you know, you get attracted to this girl, you meet somewhere or whatever, and she looks cute with her makeup and her weave done, and then you're like, all right, bet, I want to see you without all of that on. Let me see you in your natural form. And she takes everything off, and you just, like... <laughs> Like, what do you do at that point? Like, well, that, that, okay, guy, what do that, you do at that point? That, that, well, that's clearly something that has to happen in the beginning of the, like, very early in the, like, <clears throat> in the relationship. But if you met her at Starbucks and she looked like a 10, and she looks like a 10 for the next three dates, and then you finally get to the fourth date where you're like, let's just go hiking or somewhere. And she's like, all right, well, I'm I'm not messing up my bundles. She takes the, <laughs> she takes the bundles out, pulls the hair back, puts the cap on, fresh face. She might have like dark circles, pimples. Right, you that that's I wouldn't call that a risk, but that's what you have to see because you can't you can't go like every time. But I do see, you pursue after that? And if I still like what I see, yeah. And chances are, chances are, if you see somebody that's all dolled up and then when they go to their natural state, chances are you're still going to have that that love. Like, if initially, it may be like, oh, okay, oh, all right, that, that's how it is because that's, you know, that's just the way it is. But ultimately, it's not too far off. And for me, I always want to know what that natural state is. I always want to know. So that way, you don't ever have that moment where, oh, we go to bed and you look like, you know, all dogged up and then you wake up and there's somebody totally different. You see what I'm saying? You have to get to that point because that can that can break a relationship if you're not prepared for that, if you're not looking for that. And some guys, they don't look for that. They just, they just see you dogged up and they're like, all right, they're expecting to look like that all the time and that's just not the case so i remember my facebook days when i used to be scrolling through facebook looking at chicks and all that i always wanted to see like yeah they got their prime picture up or they oh i'm going on a night on the town with everybody like i don't want to see that picture you want to see stretch marks i want to see the picture with you <laughs> when you walking around on a on a cleaning day you clean up the house yeah i want to see what like, that picture look like like uh kendrick lamar says i want to take you down on your mama's couch with, <laughs> with, with, with polo socks. <laughs> right so you know, he's stretch marks. yeah because right. if i'm reading that right there it does, you know that's ball game because at that point once you get dolled up i'm gonna be like even more super important well i'm glad that you said that because uh What's her name? That's true, Erica. No, she's making a valid point, though, because I would always say that to my mom. Like, looks do matter. Like, we all want to say yes. looks don't matter. But like Erica said, like, looks are the first thing you see about a person. Yeah. And I used to always get in arguments with some people. They're like, especially guys, because you got them one that always got that guy. that say, no, no, I'm strictly on personality. Okay, so you all about natural. Now... Does that include the body as well? Because we're talking about being natural because everything's closed. So a lot of us can't go to the nail salon to get our nails done. A lot of us can't go get our hair done. So we might have to start wearing our natural hair. Do men really prefer all natural? You said waking up in the morning like... Okay, for me, I like, need natural. This, natural. I Let been, me finish. You need natural. You want to see a woman in her natural state. You want to see the pictures of what she looks like when she's just walking around the house cleaning her house. Okay, so we get that. Now, when it comes to... Did you go a uh, Blair Witch Heart on us? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to... It doesn't... Okay, well, Halita's... She, she's doing something now, but she's still with us, though. Okay, so... Does it come to down to that also when a chick has a fake butt and fake titties and a fake stomach? 
and fake cheekbones. Oh, and they do that too? So, yeah, yes. No, people, no, people, people get, get implants in their fillers, cheek jaws, fillers. People lips. have gotten their like chins extended to make their face a little bit longer. Like you can ass. get the works done. Guys. But see, with you, I really want to know about the ass because you're an ass man and you I like, take I like all these pictures. Ass. I like natural ass. <laughs> so if you found out that half the models that you follow on Instagram and that you are looking at their at their net their asses are not natural. Is that a turn off? Do you not want to get involved with them because no, I mean because I look at it this way: the natural the natural body for a female for that covered like now it's all about the ass. Like everybody wants the ass, and only a small people percent of women can have that natural ass that people supposedly covet. That say like, this is what I want. Only a small few get to have that. Everybody else is getting the implants and getting the shots and, and everything else. So, personally, I like the natural ass, regardless if it's a per purpose, a per, per a perfect, a perfect, yes, it's like, oh, I gotta be studying about it. <laughs> a perfect, you know, circle, or if it's, you know, got dimples and misshaped, and, uh oh, you got <laughs> She over here coughing. <laughs> we went, we went, we had to, we had to shut this joint down real quick. <laughs> Hard, wasn't she? <laughs> Yo, I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. So I was just like, something's in my throat. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> drink some water. Drink some water. You got some water. Somebody get some water real quick. <laughs> I think I was thinking because I was thinking about how black, how close. My glass was in his mouth and how passionate he's been speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just started choking. <laughs> so I think it's time for me to get a new glass, <laughs> which has been hidden from his mouth. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, so where, where was that? Where was that? Did anybody have anything to say about the... Uh, um, a lot of men love the fakeness to look at, but many won't choose that girl to be with, I guess, long term. That's what I know from my male friends, at least. I feel like that's true. Like, yeah. a lot of, like, a lot of guys like the way Nicki Minaj looks, but they're not gonna, like, marry her, per se. Or want to be in a, a long-term relationship. Yeah. I just want to know, I'm, I remember that one time we went to... What's it called? It's Onyx. Onyx. We went to Onyx. And the girl, either she kept trying to get me to touch her butt, or I did touch her butt. And I just remember it feeling like Too hard, so it weird. was rock hard. That's that was my only experience with a fake butt. Like, I go to strip clubs. Well, I used to go to strip clubs a lot. So, But that's my only experience with feeling a fake butt. Ass. And that's and the thing, like that's what would make me yeah. not want to be in a relationship long term or even for one night with a chick whose body isn't hers. If that's if that's how it's gonna feel. But I guess it just depends on what doctor you go to. Yeah, right, that's why you got it done. You're like if you're gonna go get that procedure done, max out. Like don't just Yeah, don't cheat. Yeah, please don't do the cheap route. Cause you seen ones that done. The, I remember like the same spot where you talking about. I saw one and it just it just never looked right. And every time she would walk in my area, I would just make sure I looked away, make sure because I did not want to get any you know type of situation with even getting close to that because it's just such a turn off. And then you know some asses are deformed because they're too big. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean too big. Well. Yeah, you probably, it could be a, 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 a too big of an ass. Yes, like for me, like yeah, you like once you start pushing. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Oh yeah, and, and, so, and you know some of them don't like some of them. They be it's so fat that it looks like you know like. But for the most part, if you got a fat ass, you're you're on the thick side, so you got thick thighs as well, and everything's proportional. But I remember some of these chicks. 
like in the model game, they had these little petite thighs. And they had this massive cake at the end of it. Like, it just doesn't even look right. You walk around dragging all this meat behind you. It's like, don't even. No. Yeah, but even some guys food. still be drooling all over it. Like, I be on Instagram all the time. And you be seeing these chicks with these 55 inch booties and, like, just. And guys be drooling over it. Just be like, just, oh, oh my, oh my. Let me get a taste, baby. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just like. No, no thank you. <laughs> no, I, I be I be on that too, but th not for them type of chicks. Like, I'm but how can you tell the difference? But no, I'm not just talking about. The, I can't tell the difference between a fake one and a big and a, and a real one. I'm just talking about this pure size. Oh, okay. Like, like for me, like that range, that great range ranges from like say 35 to 48 inch. Once you start going over 48 inches, it's then it's, yeah, it's starting to get too much. It's starting to get a little bit too big. And that also basically also is how tall are you? You know what I mean? Like if you're you're six foot, you know you're carrying around a, a 48 inch booty. I mean, it looks real good because you know you got all you got all that height to match with the weight. But if you're five foot and you got 48, like my wife, she was she was very very very. When well, did you reminisce? Damn. I'm just, just, I'm just, you know. <laughs> that sounded like a reminisce. My wife. But well, maybe that's because, oh, like, God. Nicki Minaj is hella short, too. And Kim is extremely short. How tall is Nicki Minaj? I think she's, like, 5'2". Really? How tall? Hold on. I don't I think she's that tall. Though. I'm thinking she's, like, 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, yeah. Maybe 5'4", at the shortest. <laughs> But all those, all those yeah, factors. Five two. She's okay. five two. That's a lot of weight to be carrying around yeah. from five two. How 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 much you weigh? What you say, Kalita? I said she dragging the wagon. <laughs> right, and that's like where it that. starts to get look nasty. Like like you said, you're dragging, literally dragging something back there. It's just like. But the is when when you when you do that. When you do that and you get your butt bigger like that, when you go to go find clothes, the clothes is never going to fit right unless you learn something that's stretchy. You can't buy no jeans because your weight and your thighs are too small to fit the fuck, the big ass that you need for <laughs> the jeans. Right. And that's another thing with... So who are women doing this for? If men so-called only prefer no, to no, no, look no. at the... Can I finish? If, if, men, if women are supposedly... If men are supposedly only looking at women and they like to just look at the big booty but not actually wipe the big booty, then who are women actually doing this for? Are they doing it just for themselves to make themselves look a certain way? Or are they doing it because they want to snag a rapper, an NBA player? Like, I'm, this one girl told me, a girl that she worked with, she worked at Walmart. The girl went and got a fake booty. And I'm just like, why? What was you, what, who are you trying to attract at Walmart? What are you trying to do with this? And I can understand, like, I know girls who had no ass. No ass. And it does make a difference in your clothes versus having a flat ass and having a little bit of something back there. Totally different in your clothes. So I can understand you wanting to get that little, like the girl on um, Black Ink. The little, the light skinned chick, she went out and she, and I don't know what her booty looks like now, but when she first got her booty done, it was very proportioned with the rest of her body because all she wanted to do was make it so her clothes fit her right. But with these big gigantic asses, who are they doing it for? They're doing it for the attention. They're doing it for, they're doing it for. Right. It's an attention thing. They're doing it. First of all, I think that it's a lot of um, stigma behind plastic surgery, but I think that if that's what you feel comfortable with, you should do it. I, <laughs> I was thinking, I'm sorry, Kelly, but she said Walmart paying like that. I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. Like, what you working at Walmart, you saved your money to get a booty, but okay, you were like you and TJ is saying, it's for attention. Because think about it, like women. Well, I don't know how it is for women, but from what I can understand, 
women like to be the center. People in general like to be the center of attention. We want to be complimented. We want people to notice us. So if you add that, guys are going to look regardless. Like you're going to have a line of guys that's going to be lining up to look at you, say something to you, take you take you home, and then this notion that you were saying earlier about guys not necessarily wanting to wife them, I, I disagree. Like if if if, if 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 a guy finds a woman attractive, then they're already halfway there to being married to. You know what I mean? Then on top of that, do you have you know? The, Wait, you said if a guy likes her. Then he's halfway on his way to marrying her. Right, right. So no, what? Negative. So what? <laughs> well, I'm a guy, and I'm trying to let me let me finish. Let me explain what I'm trying to say is that. What? I just asked you that one question. You said yes. I, I you can finish explaining what you said, but that one statement, like Beyonce said, if he liked it, he would have put a ring on it. I, I, I like I don't agree with that. Like dudes like chicks. And fuck them and go all about their business. I don't feel like they be halfway ready to marry. They don't necessarily. That, that, but that doesn't mean just because you halfway there to marry, that doesn't mean that that particular one. So for so what I mean is that if you have a, a guy who finds a woman attractive, just on just purely looking at her, just just straight up looking at her, yes, she's halfway there to be being being married. Now, everything else that follows will indicate whether or not they're going to just sleep with them that night and dispose of them or carry on with them to, to marriage. Like, it's just not solely on the looks. It's the looks get you, have, get you in the door. Everything else you have to do is what allows you to stay in the house or you get kicked out at the end of the night. It depends on the man because... That, but it's still, it's still, it's still the same thing. Way. It's still the same okay. thing. If you don't have the looks... Then you, you you're not getting in. It's, it's a wrap. You have, after the looks, after you pass the look of the test, you have to check the mark on everything else based off of uh, goals, where you, where you at in your life, your your own particular attitude. All these other little variables play a major role into it. But looks is just you halfway there. If you got the yeah, looks, once you that, but I add all like the other things many. onto it. There are men who check off every single box for a woman, and she still won't get married. You can have looks. You can have the education. It just depends on... That's not that's not majority, though. It's, it just depends on the man. Like, looks... Go ahead, Kalita. Being a woman out here, being a woman out here in these streets, I will tell you one thing. Men will look at you and be like, oh, she's so fucking fine. I want her. And then once they realize that you're not a stupid chick, like you're not stupid, you're not broke, you're not out here begging, you're not looking for it, like you don't need them for anything, then it goes down. Because you can still look good, but now you're smart. So like whatever stupid game you're trying to play, that shit told you went out the fucking window because she's not stupid enough to follow for that fault for that fucking. So at the end of the day, you can say that looks get you halfway married, but I think I think looks get you in the door. So that's about that's the whole premise. That's the whole that thing. Finish? Everything else is what gets you married because <laughs> look she you never know. said she was a disagree. Let her just finish. Do, do, can she cook? Can she clean? Does she actually know how to wash her ass before coronavirus? <laughs> before coronavirus. <laughs> like, 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 these are things that, like, you don't want to, this is why people in how support court, because they get with somebody that looks good, but that's not really a good fucking person. So at the end of the day, it's really about what they can get out of this situation. And if they fall into a baby and that gets them 18 years of whatever child support, <laughs> whatever they're looking for, that works for them. But that don't change the fact that she still looks good. She still, she still looks good. She's still a fucking headache, though. Mm-hmm. So, for you to say, like, looks gets you halfway married, I don't agree with that. I don't think that looks gets you married. I think that looks I didn't say married. that. Everything, everything you just said is exactly what I'm saying. 
looks get you in the door, but like you said, can she wash you her ass? Say halfway. Right, halfway. That's halfway. That's the part that she doesn't agree with. No, she doesn't she, agree with that. Looks get you halfway. Right, but married. she said, but she, she didn't say get you halfway. Man. She said get you married. No, she said halfway. You said halfway, didn't you? Cause that's what he said. He said halfway. She doesn't uh, think okay. that looks get you halfway married. And, and I did. Looks get you right. out of conversation, but once you realize that that's my point exactly but y'all 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 getting so hung up on the looks like the the looks because you said it's halfway so that's like that right that's still not 100 though right that's a but you got this but men men number. right but if you don't look good to a man he's not gonna marry you if you're not attracted that's to a man not, that's not true all right Puerto Ricans, not Puerto Ricans, Spanish men have a thing where, and I learned this when I was young, like Spanish boys are told not to marry the attractive girl. If you want to keep your wife, like if you want to be happy for the rest of your life, marry you up. Well, they lady. don't represent all men and all those Spanish men are not paying attention to that. So that still doesn't even represent all of the Spanish men. Okay, that represents a piece, yes, but that doesn't... Circle that doesn't. I just wanted go. to make my point that men are. You said men only marry. Men don't marry women that they're not attracted to. I just wanted to make my point okay. that men. There are men out there. That there there's always the exception. <clears throat> always. And that are out here married for Shrek. So. But they like Shrek. Yeah, and I'm not married, and I'm not ugly. But nobody's talking about you, though. Know? I'm just talking about the guy that married Shrek. Likes Shrek. No. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> us being in the melanin coalition of beautiful brown women, we're not married. But that don't, that don't mean that we don't look good. That who, but who's even saying that? You just said that look is what gets you married. That doesn't mean just because you look yeah, good you're going to get that. married. <laughs> but that should get us that that still, that still don't get you going. You can get halfway to to, to to win the race. That doesn't mean you win the race. You still got a whole fifty percent left to go. Right. Right, and that's what comes like you said about can the woman wash the ass? Can she know how to clean? All these other little things come in to take up everything else. And so we're we're seeing it on the same exact level. You're just caught up on the fifty percent part of the looks. Rick, everything you're saying, I agree with, and Rick got the same point. I don't want nobody to marry me for my looks, because if I go out here and I get into a car accident and my face is disfigured, I don't want you to be like, damn, I like this person. <laughs> and that's the ugliest fuck, and I don't want to fuck with her. Right, right, but that's still... <clears throat> I, I can't speak on that, because I've never been in that situation. I don't know how they... I'm not going to speak on that part. But... Looks play a major role. This I believe that that looks play a major role in relationships on the men's side. Women's side, when y'all how y'all decide. That's on that's on y'all. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Guys are more so physical or not physical. Well, yeah, physical, but visual. There visual, you go. yeah. And women, we fall in love with what we hear, and men fall in love with what they see. But overall, we still got to like what we see. And y'all, from his point of view. So like, I I don't see any men in the group. I would really just like another guy's opinion on the whole natural thing, because like when we first started off, you were saying that you didn't think that guys necessarily marry the girls with the fake booties and the fake breasts, and it's just something to look. Somebody is marrying these women though. Yeah, that's true. Yes. At the end of the day, like somebody likes it. Yeah. So. But, but I do want to say is I feel like natural women don't get enough recognition. Natural women that are out here, you know, working hard, pursuing, you know, their dreams and shit. We don't get enough recognition because we're not out here with the big fake boots. Hmm. Maybe because we don't expose ourselves as much as the women with the fake booties do. 
Well, that, and that plays a uh, another role, I think, in it as well. Like, because we gotta also understand that when we talk about these women that are out there, we get a lot. Well, I would say, from my point of view, a lot of that comes from Instagram, and a lot of people that get on there, they get these surgeries done for a financial benefit, so that they can go on there and shake that fat ass and shake those fake titties and make a make a living for themselves. There's a lot of women on Instagram that are making money living a very good lifestyle off on showing their non-natural uh, body. Hmm. All right, but what about she just said, the woman that worked at Walmart? She worked at Walmart. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Well, we don't know she on Instagram or OnlyFans doing her thing in her bedroom. We don't know. I, like we, we don't know if she's doing that as well. She might. She might have used Walmart to save up for the fake butt. Yeah, the stepping stone. And now that she has the fake butt, now she's trying to build her OnlyFans page or her only Instagram page so she can potentially leave that Walmart job. Right. Yep. Levels, levels, levels. She's making moves. She's making progress. She got the Walmart job to got to get the fake ass. Then she got the fans only page. And in two months, she gonna be out. She gonna say. That's the thing. Like when you get those fake implants or whatever, you have to have the income to keep it up. It's just Fast. not a one time. Okay, here's five grand, and I'm gonna get this. You oh, you have to keep doing. No, yeah, you gotta keep that shit up. Like, there's no butt surgery where you can just get it done one time. There's no. none. Like, like I gotta understand. You gotta like go back every couple of years because what? these. So you have to maintain your weight. Mm -hmm. You can't go up and you can't or, yeah. or down. There's like only a certain amount that you're allowed to go up or down. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen here. For all that, I will take my black ass to the gym and whatever I have to end up with in those six to seven months. Because look at that, it this way. You're putting something foreign into your body. 